What? Want to pay attention? We're about to start. Well, hello. Hello. My name is Gabe. Do you want me to start and recording I'm, then? <laughs> I'm a member of the Real Dudes. Tell thanks me more. For, thanks for joining our show. It's not a show. It's an internet thanks um, production. Thanks for joining our channel. Okay. Oh, uh, so Gabe. Yeah. You don't play T. You well, you play TF2. You don't play Star Citizen, do you? No, I do not. Well, remember all this really annoying stuff that you don't remember, which is how to turn on Oculus Rift support in Star Citizen? Yeah, I was wondering about that. Yeah, man. Well, I know how to do it. And now, Dude, let- Are you gonna teach me? Let me tell you. It's as simple as two little step except not actually that simple. <laughs> two so what do you- I'll have little things popping on the screen at this okay. point. Um, what you used to have to do, and you can still do it if, if you want to keep it on forever, is you create a document called user.cfg in text in, in, in notepad and you drop it in your citizen client in your documents folder. And in that document, that's startup, that startup profiles for Star Citizen. And you can put in whatever the hell you want in there and mm -hmm. it'll do it. And that includes a bunch of settings for virtual reality support. Now, okay. I can just put them in right here in the console and it will be the same thing pretty much. And I'll okay. just type in the essential list of commands. So, what they recommended originally on the uh, Star Citizen website is they, they just they just have the basic CryEngine commands of turning on head tracking in a riff, which is the first thing you would do. So you'd type in system current HMD type equals one, I'm pretty sure, and then that will enable your head mounted display with that command. Okay. And then the next thing that they recommended doing on the original document is just R equals R underscore stereo, stereo strength equals negative eight, which is really, really basic and really not quite that good. And I don't okay. actually have an Oculus Rift, as you know, not yet. So I can't it actually enable all of my settings to make sure that it, that it works. It will black out the screen. But I can okay. type in all the commands and show you, dear viewer and Gabe, how to do it. Okay. So, the other ones you I would recommend turning on. Uh, so basically, what they well, first of all they all do is uh, system current HMD enables tracking. Um, you can also turn off motion blur doing R underscore motion blur equals zero because motion blur is disgusting and you can turn it off now. Um, when you have your helmet on in your ship, you can turn it off using uh, R underscore stereo mode equals one and then that will turn off your helmet if you had it on which I don't and then the last thing is you turn on stereo mode using R underscore stereo mode equals one and then that will turn on stereo mode and R underscore stereo output I misspelled that. Stereo mode equals one. And then R underscore stereo mode. Stereo output equals seven. And then if I did this, if I put this in, it would break my game and it would be a black screen. And then okay. that is what finally lets, makes it work, essentially. Um, after you enter R underscore stereo mode, I mean stereo output equals 7, you can turn on, you can control all the settings with the numpad, and pressing numpad 1 will recenter and turn on VR mode. So really? That, yes, really Gabe, this is how you experience this game fully. The easier way to doing all that every time you launch Star Citizen is, like I said, to use the old user.cfg thing. And I'll put a list of other recommended CryEngine commands into the description of this video that I would recommend putting in to that folder. And I'll have all the little windows like that I recorded popping up showing you where to find that under your My Documents Citizen Client. And then you can put that in there. And then you, every time you launch it, it'll be boom, boom there, there you go. Start Citizen. Gabe, what did you think of that? I thought that was really informative and enjoyable experience for me as a Star Citizen player. 
I'm glad that you, as a Star Citizen player, both appreciate and respect the amount of information I was able to present to you, and therefore will use it in his own time to play the game that he enjoys so much. With the I really, that can I really play. will. Thank you. Thank you, Gabe. You're welcome. That was it? Seriously?